In this video, we'll be finding the missing length in similar triangles. Here we see a diagram with uh, two triangles nested one inside of the other one. And uh, we have parallel lines here. The biggest thing that students do often with this type of problem is assume that you have right angles. And we don't have right angles given here. So what we need to do is use the fact that um, these are parallel lines, and that'll give me this angle congruent to this angle. Even though they're not right angles, they are congruent angles. So let's separate our two triangles. Our bigger one here, and then our smaller one, And we know that this angle is congruent to this angle. And we know that they both have this angle in common. So those two angles are congruent. So we have similar triangles. So let's put our measurements in. The big triangle has uh, this side is x. And the base uh, is 5 plus 75 which is 80. And then on the smaller triangle, this side is 80. And the base of the smaller one is 75. So we can set up a proportion. Let's go with x is to 80. as 80 is to 75. Uh, cross multiplication here, we have 75 times x is equal to 80 times 80. 80 times 80 is 6400. Divide both sides by 75. These will cancel, and x is equal to 256 over 3, or if we want to make this a mixed fraction, that would be 85 and 1 third. Remember that if your decimal is repeating, you don't want to round your answer, so write it as a fraction.